In this video, we're going to look at the Infinity APS die from Short Action Customs. Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. Ever since I saw a prototype of this Infinity APS seating die from Short Action Customs at the SHOT Show this year, I could not wait to get mine and the wait is over. That is what is in this very nice case. Let's take a look at what's in the case. So we've got the die, and this is a micrometer adjustable die that's fully modular. So you've seen me use inline seater dies here on the channel. This is a fully modular version where it comes with a bunch of different components that enable it to span a bunch of different cartridges. And there are additional parts, like these additional bases that you can buy to enhance the collection of cartridges, other things that you have that you're gonna wanna seat for use with this system. So the die body, Three different pushers. These are the top pushers that go in the top and bottom out here on the top. So we've got short, medium, and long there. A cartridge centering sleeve, and then six different seating stems. The stems that it comes with are small one, small two, model one, model two, model three, and model four, which we'll go over. I've got a whole chart for this stuff. And it also comes with one base. The bases are specific to the cartridge length, basically the case length and the case rim diameter. So that's what's included. Next, let's talk about the different parts, the internal parts that make up the die system. So if you go to the SAC Infinity APS product page, you're gonna see this awesome cutaway view. And this was really helpful for me to understand how all the parts and pieces come together as a modular system and why this system is compelling and how it works. Okay, so we're gonna start at the very bottom. If you look at the left-hand side of the diagram, we've got the cartridge base insert. So this is gonna hold our cartridge. I've got a case here, we'll just use kind of as, as a demo. We're gonna, we're gonna have a powder charge in there, we're gonna set the bullet, and then set the die body on top of that. We also need a bullet seating plug and a top pusher. Okay, so that's kind of the entire assembly. We did not put a bullet in. We'll do that later when we actually seat bullets with this. Okay, so the cartridge base insert is defined based on the base to datum length of the case. So this is how we account for different case lengths and also the case rim diameter or the belt diameter or both. And so for this, we've got a 6GT. We're using a number four. We could use this with 308, but if we went up to 30-06, we would use the XL version of this I believe that's here, 4XL. So you can see here, we've accounted for the difference in case length between 308 and 30-06. Okay, so we've got the cartridge base insert. And what's gonna happen when you lower the die body on top of the case is that centering sleeve, which has a radius, I'll show you that right here, this little guy right here, is gonna hit the shoulder, right? And so it is going to center the top, see how that can't move, and the bottom is centered by that cartridge base insert. It fits nice and snug down there. So we've got a case that's held perfectly collinear with the body of the die. Now we've also got a bullet here that's elevated. So it elevates the bullet seating stem, and when the arbor press pushes down, it's gonna push down on this top pusher which hits the bullet seating stem, which hits the ogive of the bullet and seats it down to the depth that we've specified with the micrometer setting. So what's great about all this is that we can swap out cartridge base inserts, centering sleeves, bullet seating stems, and top pushers to accommodate everything from 223 all the way up to 338 Lapua Magnum, and that means I can seat bullets with for basically every cartridge I have in the shop except 450 BMG. I will take that, that is just fine with me. So, let's talk seating stems. So, the cool thing is this Infinity APS die system, when you order it, the package comes with all of these seating stems. You're not going to have to buy additional ones to cover this range of cartridges, and we've got two different categories, the small and the Model 1, Model 2, Model 3, Model 4. So small 1 and 2 use the 223-based cartridge centering sleeve, which I've got here. 
The other centering sleeve is actually already installed here in my Infinity APS die, and that is the standard centering sleeve. So based on which centering sleeve we're using, we're going to use either small stems or the different model stems. So small one is going to go from 20 cal up to 6 mil. Small two goes from 6.5 mm to 30 cal. And then stepping up to the standard centering sleeve, we've got model one, which goes from 22 cal to 6 mil. We've got model two, which goes from 6.5 mil to 7 mil. Model three is going to be for 30 cal and model four is going to be for 338. Okay, and now let's run through cartridge base inserts. When you order the kit, it's going to come with one of these that you specify, and I've got them all right here. Base number one is going to be for your 223 based cartridges, like 223 Remington, 223 Rem AI, 222 Remington, and so on and so forth. Number two is for Valkyrie based cartridges, 224 Valkyrie being the one that they list. Number three for PPC. This is 6 PPC, 6 ARC, 6 5 Grendel, 6 8 SPC, 7 6 2 by 39. I've got multiple of those that I work with. Number four is for 308 based cartridges. Cartridges that are shorter than 308, like your 6 Dasher or your 6 GT, up to 308 Winchester. Number four XL is going to be for longer than 308 uh, cartridges and also for 308 or 65 Creed on the low side, right? So 30-06, 280 Remington, 270 Win, 25-06, and so on and so forth. Number five would be for 284 Win based cartridges. Number six, 65 PRC family. So that's basically 65 PRC and any associated necked down or necked up cartridges. 6XL is for the standard Magnums, your 300 Win mag, seven Rem mag, seven PRC, and so on and so forth. Number seven goes with the SOM family, so seven SOM and 6.8 Western. 7XL is associated with 551 inch long action magnums like 28 Nosler and 300 Remington Ultra Magnum. Number eight for WSM cartridges. 8XL for seven WSM is the cartridge listed. And number nine for the 338 Lapua family, like 338 Lapua Magnum itself and also 300 Norma Magnum. Okay, I want to quickly cover die setup from scratch. Let's say we want to seat some bullets for 6GT. 6GT is a 308 based cartridge and it's shorter than 308. So our number four cartridge base insert is what we're going to want. Let's just double confirm that that is going to sit flush. Okay, now we need to think about the centering sleeve. And I've actually got the correct centering sleeve, the standard sleeve installed, but I want to show you how easy this is to change in case you don't have the appropriate one installed. So we're just going to, with a loosening motion, keep turning the micrometer head until it doesn't loosen any anymore. Okay, and then we have a tightening motion on the threaded internal stop itself until it comes free, like so. Now we can just tap upside down. And we've got our centering sleeve. This is standard. And this is for 223 based cartridges. So I want to use the standard sleeve. So we're just going to drop that back in. And then our threaded internal stop, we kind of do a, an opposite rotation since these are left hand threads. And then we turn that until it stops. Now we do a tightening motion on the micrometer head until the top of the threaded internal stop becomes flush with the top of the micrometer head, right around there. Okay, so we have the correct cartridge base insert. We've got the correct centering sleeve. Now we can lower the die body over the dummy cartridge and install the correct seating stem. So for the standard centering sleeve, and six millimeter bullets, we want model one, which I've got right here. We can drop that right in the top and wiggle until it falls down into place. Now, there's the matter of the top pusher. Remember, we have short, medium, and long. And what we wanna do is start with short, push it down, and if it contacts the threaded internal stop, we continue to medium length, which also contacts, so we're gonna continue to long. 
that does not contact. That means long is too long, but medium should be just right. Okay. Now, we need to do a rough dial on our bullet seating depth. And the quickest way I've found to do this, this is a, a quick method that I've come up with, is we're going to turn the micrometer to increase our seating depth. In other words, shorter cartridge overall length. And we're gonna push on this top pusher at the same time. If we keep a, a downward force on this top pusher and we turn this micrometer clockwise, eventually we're gonna see the cartridge base insert start to move away from the die body. That's when we know everything is sandwiched and we're at the effective bullet seating depth of what our dummy cartridge is. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna back off a little bit so the bullets are seated a little bit long, then we can take a measurement and see how much further we have to go and just use the micrometer for that. Okay, so it looks like we're coming off there. I'm gonna very carefully look until things stop moving, okay? So I know it's hard to see on camera, but we're gonna be right around there. I'm gonna go about an extra 10 or so. So that means that our bullets are gonna seat it, be seated about 10 thousandths long. We'll take that base to ogive measurement with our bullet comparator and we'll be able to fine tune things accordingly. Let's do that next. Okay, let's see how close I was. We're gonna take our case, put it in the base, put our bullet on top of that. We should see this top pusher poke up. Yes, that looks about right. Okay, and then go ahead and seat the bullet. Now this should be somewhere around 10 long or so. This is the dummy cartridge that we started with. And I'm using the Short Action Customs Bullet Comparator, which you can also use as a headspace comparator with different inserts. And so we want to establish, I like to zero the calipers on the data measurement. So there we go, zero that repeated. And let's take the test cartridge that we just seeded and see where we're at. Okay, so we're actually 26 and a half long, so I backed it off a little too much. That's okay. So 26, so 4 plus 10 plus 20 plus 2. Well, this should put us, you know what, I'm going to go back just one just so that we can have a little bit more leeway if that turns out to be needed. Okay, that pushed things down just a little bit more. Should take just two or three tries to get within a thousandth of, of where we are. Okay, so there we're at two and a half. Remember how I backed it off too? That was about right. Okay, so let's do this. One, two, put things back together and do another seat. I felt just the tiniest movement there. If I'm within a thousandth, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good there. Okay, and there we go. We're at a half of a thousandth off. Okay, so that's just how quickly you can set this thing up. Next, let's seat multiple bullets. With bullet seating depth set, I'm gonna seat bullets for five additional dummy cartridges to give you guys an idea of what this workflow is like. So, we're gonna take our case, put it in the base, set it on top, and seat. And then we just repeat the process. Takes a moment to get into the swing of things, but you can see this is a pretty quick process once you get into the flow. Very smooth, like that. like the cartridges are not getting stuck in the die, problem I've had in the past with other products. Nice, there we go, five bullets seated. Well, I'm pretty excited about the Infinity APS die. With the parts and pieces that we have here, we can seat bullets in just about any cartridge we're gonna load for. And I know that I've given you a lot of information to digest, so if you click on that first link in the video description, it'll take you over to the article where I have those charts showing the different parts and the interoperability and compatibility and so on and so forth. 
Here's what I'd like to know is, do you have an Infinity APS die? How is it working for you? What are you loading for it? And if you'd like one, what would you be using it for? Drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. Thank you for watching. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you wanna learn lucrative gunsmithing like what I show here on the channel, including building custom rifles and Cerakote plus a whole bunch more, you're gonna to wanna to check out the Colorado School of Trades, schooloftrades.edu. Thanks again for watching.